Bye. Welcome to Cryptocurrency Blockchain News, your daily cryptocurrency blockchain aggregated news show on YouTube. Look, look, there's going to be drinking. Look, look, there's going to be smoking. Look, look, there's going to be swearing. Look, look, you have been warned because they're coming three. Look, look, two. Look, 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 one. Bye. Welcome, everyone. Black, white, gay, straight, Christian, Muslim, Jew. Welcome to Cryptocurrency Blockchain News. My name is Shamari Clark. You're watching the greatest show on earth, the greatest show in the multiverse. Yes, you are. Yes, you are, and yes, it is. <laughs> yes, you are. Look, look. Yes, it is. All right, we have a great one for you today. Oh, and so, look, look. So, I left you on Saturday with the IOTA and, and VeChain story. Well, look. These sons of bitches just keep onboarding people. So, I'm going to have to talk about IOTA. It's going to be used in vending machines. Yes, yes, another IOTA story. And then Microsoft to launch a, a game a video game on the VeChain blockchain. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. See what I'm saying? So, look, I know if you're new here, you're probably like, man, this guy keeps talking about IOTA, VeChain, 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 this, VeChain. Look, brother, how it works, and sister, whoever you are, cats and dogs, look, how it works on this channel is if the blockchain is generating revenue, well, I talk about it. That's it. If you've onboarded someone, that's it. I don't care if it's for five cents or $5 million. We're going to talk about it. And so... You know, if you don't want me to talk about VeChain so much, well, call VeChain up and tell them to stop onboarding people. <laughs> you know what I mean? Look, look. And then finally, a Swiss crypto bank reveals its expansion plans. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Finally, the Swiss, the Swiss. And I'm going to tie that into because we read about those Swiss guys. All right, all right. We're going to talk about Switzerland. I think Switzerland is going to give us the, the access to the, the European Union because those guys are moving hardcore. Like, I know the Germans are doing some work, but the Swiss, bang, 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 like they are not joking around. And so we'll get into that. I'll, I'll yap yap when we get to there. <laughs> yes. Do some yap yapping. But for now, let's do how we do. Bye. <laughs> yeah. And then we do a little bit of bye. Oh, yeah, so I wanted to do this first, though. All right, so look, look. We've had a bunch of new subscribers here, so a lot of subscribers. So look, guys, my name's Shamari Clark. I'm going to teach you a little bit about myself. My name's Shamari Clark. I'm a professional Forex investor. I'm a pro professional derivatives trader. Ah, shit. It's nice to know that if you're talking about money, you're actually talking to, speaking to someone who's actually qualified, who actually does it for a living. So if you want to know about me, you can go over here to Forex Factory. Here it is, Forex Factory, forexfactory.com. And up here, wait, can you guys see it? You can't see it, but there's a little search box up there in the top right-hand corner. You, you type in my name up there, S-H-O-M-A-R-I. Boop, press it. And then you see it'll say something. See how it says Shamari's profile? That would be me. Press that, and then there I am, there I be, you know? And so you can go down here to the middle on the left-hand side, and there are, is a, a thing called images, and these are some old trades of mine uh, that you can look at and stuff like that. They're all time-stamped and dated, and, you know, these are from, this one here is 2014. Uh, I think they go from about 2010 to 2014. Uh, you can see... You know, going long, going short, bang, banging, look, looking. So, you know, I just want to show you that. <clears throat> so, you know, you're actually listening to, you know, I, I noticed a lot of here on this crypto stuff. A lot of people are, oh, look at that short right there. Bye. A lot of this crypto stuff, it's just a bunch of guys, trend scans, a bunch of guys coming home after work talking crypto because they're using YouTube as a side hustle. I want you to know. YouTube ain't no side hustle for me. That's why I drink and smoke and swear. I don't give a shit about YouTube's pocket change. I'm a market murderer. I'm a market killer. I'm a market slayer. And so if you want to see it, you know, you can go here and uh, check out some of my old work and stuff like that. Now, I know these are old trades from 2010, 2014 and stuff. Yeah, well, it shows you how long I've been doing it, right? I think that when you, you know, when you're watching someone on YouTube, I mean, they should be qualified to talk about what the hell they're talking about, right? <laughs> I don't know. It just occurs to me. 
You got some mechanic that comes home and then fires up a digital camera and talks about uh, it, crypto. And he's got like a, a thousand viewers and they're they're basing their investment stuff on his advice on the advice of a mechanic. <laughs> so anyways, just so you guys know who, I, who you're talking to, who you're listening to, I am an actual Forex trader. My profession, my money makes me money. I don't have a nine to five job. See my face? Yeah, I don't have to go to work like you guys. I don't go to work. Well, I mean, I go to work. It's here at home. And I slay the markets, all right? So look, all right, there you go. Now let's get back to how we usually do. I just thought, guys, you know, you you older guys, you guys know who I am, but the new people, and we've been having a lot of subscribers lately, so I thought I wanted to just, you know, show them, you know, who the hell they're listening to, you know? You're actually listening to a market killer. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm not some nine-to-five worker bee in the rat race coming home, you know, to make a, a little side hustle video so I can pay some mortgage or something. Hell no, dog. I make straight cash, homie. I live in South Beach. Everything I have for is paid for. <laughs> look, look. I slay Wall Street boys every day. Every day. So you're in good hands, like all state. So look, look. Let's begin how we usually begin, brothers. All right, just had to say that. Oh, and, and well, actually, there's another funny thing, though. One guy, all right, we'll do that. So some guy asked me what shirt I was wearing on Saturday. He's like, yo, what shirt is that? So it was a Calvin Klein shirt. So I'm going to give you a wardrobe breakdown <coughs> when we get to the shout outs part, all right? Silly. I've never had, <coughs> I've never had someone ask me what I'm wearing. All right, so you know how we do around these parts, brother? We do a little refresh. Yes. All right. Uh, Bitcoin is now at 6,261. Sorry, 7,261. And when I left you on Saturday, we're at 7,582. So we went down $3,021. All right. Oh, sorry, sorry, three hundred and twenty-one dollars, three hundred and twenty-one dollars down, not three thousand. <laughs> Holy! All right, look, look. You know how we do it. Top ten of the day, brothers. The usual suspects of the day. Top ten of the day: Bitcoin, Ethereum, XRP, Tether, Bitcoin Cash, Litecoin, EOS, Binance Coin, Bitcoin SV, and Stellar. Still holding on the number ten. Market moves of the day, brothers. As usual, single digits up to single digits down. Single digits up to single digits down. Single digits up to single digits down. Uh, single digits up to single digits down. Two. Single digits up to single digits down. All right. Let's look who lost money today, brothers. You see anything on here you like? Go get it because it is on sale. Bye. Top 10 loser of the day. Silverway, DX Chain Token, Nexo, Centrality, Decred, V Chain, Bitmax Token, Educare, Enigma, and Steam. Let's look who made money today, brothers. Bye. Top 10 gainers of the day Synthetics Networks, Ravencoin, IOST, Matic Network, Windall, oh, Mindal, uh, Digix DAO, Komodo Maker, Zilliqa, and Quant. All right, let's see the total market cap of the day, brothers. Or total market cap in general. What do we add here? 197.3, the total market cap. Holy. Oh, all right. 197.3. And when I left you on Saturday, we were at 205.4. So we went down, uh, what was that, 7.1 billion? That's a pretty steep drop right there. Holy shmoly. What the? F 
All right. So, and then the total 24 hour volume today is 55.8 billion. Oh yeah, we're way down here again. So remember, remember I was showing you guys how <clears throat> we, all right. So let me just tell you the numbers first. So we're at 55.8 billion. When I left you on Saturday, we were at 60.7. So we went down, I don't know, what's that? 4.9 billion. Or is that six point? I don't know. Whatever, man. Something around there, about five billion dollars. Now, um, remember, I was telling you guys like we were hovering, and we looked at it right on the cards. We were hovering at, um, you know, in the fifties, the fifty the fifty billion uh, volumes on a daily basis, right? And then after Xi Jinping said uh, what he said, you know, bang bang pro crypto pro blockchain, bug that we remember we blasted up to was like a hundred and something billion, right? And you see, we've been bleeding numbers, and then we're now we're all the way back down to fifty-five again. So, remember, I was telling you guys like I was hoping we'd stay up there, right? Like the the, the market gets gets these pulses of uh, people coming in, you know, investing real quick or whatever, and then and then they bounce, you know. Anyways, whatever, man. All right, so. Just an observation. All right, so we're going to start with the IOTA one first. So, buying IOTA dependent DIDs to be used in world's first vending upgrade kit. So, this is just some vending machine thing. But, I mean, you know, it's an onboarding. So, and like I said, if it makes five cents, we're going to talk about it here. And so, this isn't the usual IOTA stuff we read about with Volkswagen and Audi and the United Nations and, you know, smart cities and stuff like this but you know they can't all be just big like that right so let's go on let's proceed look iota tangle dependent bill labs decentralized all right hold on hold on hold on let me just get a sip There's one of the vending machines there. All glorious. So, IOTA Tango dependent, Bills Lab Decentralized Identifiers, DIDs, is to be introduced in the world's first vending upgrade kit for reliable and secure identity authentication. News Logic has learned. The progress came from a partnership between Bill Labs and Yalvend on the implementation of blockchain technology into its Yalvens vending upgrade kit. So it's a vending company. They're going to upgrade their machines. They're going to use the Tangle. The innovation has secure ID authentic authentication that can be used on vending machines, selling products with age limits, and also upgrading existing systems. So, you know, like here in America, you can buy cigarettes from a vending machine, right? Um... Well, this is going to make it so you have to prove it, that you're of age, right? Um, kind of thing, right? Um, Yalvend is no doubt an expert in vending machine protocols, coin changer, among other unnamed business machines. Yalvend, the R&D members, have been in this industry for more than 10 years, operating the trust and highly skilled engineering experiences. <clears throat> Different products are being sold via vending machines in different parts of the world. In Japan and Germany, tobacco and alcohol are parts of products sold with vending machines. However, every tobacco vending machine in Germany needs to identify recognition systems. So like here, like I just said, like you're in America, you just go in and you just buy it. But if you go to the store, you have to show ID, right? And so these guys are saying they're going to make the age identifying thing. The vending machines in, in Germany accept passport, driver's license, and personal license, German ID card. But it is hard for the system <clears throat> to know if one using the vending machine is actually the owner of the ID card, which makes the system insecure. All right, I guess if some kids want to go, go buy some beers from a vending machine, they can sneak, sneak their parents' ID out of their 
wallets while they're sleeping or something, go get the, the beers and whatever, right? So also foreigners in Japan require a TASPO card to buy tobacco legally via the machine. So in Japan as well, tobacco purchased using vending machines declined from 180,000 units in 1996 to less than 3,000 units in 2018. All right, whatever. Despite this, many vending machines do not include digital age identification systems. As the market does not also have the solution to tackle the challenges. However, Yalven's global first vending upgrade kit is offering the perfect solution to upgrade traditional vending machines with the latest digital mobile payment and post included. All right, all right, hold on, man, hold on, man. Let's just move on. How much more do we have here? Um, through this, it is easy to identify, implement secure identity system. We're down here now. In all machines, without necessarily redesigning or manufacturing new vending machines, Bill Labs DIDs make use of DLT, distributed ledger technology, on IOTA, Tangle, storing necessary data on the blockchain. This is the most reliable and secure choice for ID authentication, says Mamchu. CEO and, and founder of uh, co-founder of Bill Labs, making use of the DID's authentication and smart mobile payment module, the latest vending machine protocol will have long-lasting impacts, thereby helping to design more outstanding unmanned business model. All right, look. <coughs> All right, so you're gonna have to authenticate over the IO Tangle, bang, and you're gonna have a visual, a digital ID. And then you'll be able to go buy your cigarettes and your alcohol in countries that do so through a vending machine. All right. Now let's get some V-Chain. Bye. Yes. V-Chain. <clears throat> Eidos. Microsoft. Oh. All right. Launch Gamebook and VET token buyback since V-Chain price soaring. So, yeah, you wonder why the price of V-Chain flipping flew this weekend. Look, look. There you are. Look, look. Look, look, look. Oh, yeah, baby. So, let's check it out. VeChain, another onboarding. I mean, look, man. You know, they just keep onboarding people. It's just week after week. Holy. You know? Great, because I own a lot. So, <laughs> one of the first game books to launch in the 1980s was The Way of the Tiger. Oh, so, all right, so I'll explain what this is. All right, that's right, that's right. I did, I did want to yap, yap, yap about this a little second. So when I was a kid, so what this is is, when I was a kid, there were these books called Choose Your Own Adventure books. And, uh, and the book would be like, it would read you, you, I mean, you would read, you'd read the story, and then it would give you a choice. So in the story, you're the character, Right. And so it would ask you, like maybe you you infiltrate a castle, you know, like if it's a fantasy story, you know, with orcs and elves and shit like that. So you go into the castle, and then it asks you, once you're in the castle, what do you want to do? Do you want to rescue the princess, or do you want to steal the gold? Right? And then you would make the choice. So if you said steal the gold, you would say, okay, go to page 33 or whatever page, right? And if you wanted to save the princess, it would say, okay, go to page 47. And that would start the, the princess story uh, of you saving the princess, right? Or if you wanted to steal the gold, if you went to page 33 to steal the gold, all right, it would go down that. So it was called Choose Your Own Adventure. And so you could read the book many times and make different choices through the book. And the book would uh, send you to different... Um, you know, adventures in it, you know, like that. And so that's what this is. Um, I don't know this particular story, but this was a famous choose your own adventure book back in the days, probably when I was a kid. And um and uh yeah, and they're they're bringing it out and it's gonna be on the V Chain blockchain. All right. And Microsoft's a part of this thing. All right, let's check it out. Actually, I'll read this right here. 
Blockchain games create the chance for consumers to use cryptocurrency and fiat currency to purchase item and cards while having actual ownership of the products they buy. One of the latest games to come out is going to be based on the VeChain Thor blockchain and the VET community has been investing to get involved. All right, so let's look at it. <clears throat> um, one of the first game books to launch in the 1980s was The Way of the Tiger. Considering the way that the tech industry continues to try and bring in additional users in, it should come as no surprise that the VeChain Ledger has shown interest in making the 1980s hit into a blockchain game. The Ledger has already gained support from Microsoft and Eidos, but the cryptocurrency community appears to be one of the most excited groups pushing the VET token up to 25% this morning. So this was a couple days ago, obviously. Um, when it flew. Um, Edos and Fable will be working with the game's author, Jamie Thompson, to make this project into a reality. Microsoft will also be leading its lending its resources as the group, as the group prepares to launch on the VeChain Thor ledger, chosen for its substantial scalability. Furthermore, the use of this ledger allows for both cards and items to be created, but without having to deal with all the crypto stuff. Exactly, no one wants to deal with all this crypto crap. <laughs> Based on the roadmap, the game is scheduled for its relaunch to the public in 2020. Blockchain games have picked up in popularity ever since Ethereum launched their game, CryptoKitties, last year. In 2018, Ethereum's network was faced with substantial congestion as the community grew in their interest. The cost of transaction fees rose quickly with the congestion. As the news broke of the new project came out, all right, the price of, so blah, 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 VeChain, it went up in price. One analyst of Crypto Twitter, whoops. One analyst of Crypto Twitter, Crypto... Mitch NL follows VET frequently posting charts and forecasts for the token. He actually predicted VET's rise earlier and he praised his own prediction on Twitter, simultaneously congratulating the involved community. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Uh, the community for VET, whoops, is now discussing the rise in price as well. As some consumers wonder what the cause of the pumped price, or what caused the pumped, in, the pumped price. Luckily, individuals that have heard the news are filling them in, simply stating, <laughs> yes, Microsoft. <laughs> there it is. So people were like, hey, man, why is the price going up? And this person here was just like, look, look, Microsoft. Anyways, the price, the price should have been up and stayed up with, with the Walmart, with the Deloitte and all that. Yeah, yeah, it's still just an immature market. So the price will probably sink back down eventually. Which is good, so we can accumulate more until the pros get here, and they're not going to be letting go of their V chain. Look, look, V chain. So another onboarding with Microsoft, and like anything else, well, if this works, what's to say they don't launch a few more games on this thing? So bang, V chain. All right. Look, bang. Now finally, Switzerland's Finma licensed crypto bank reveals expansion plan. So. Yes, this is more of the shit I want to talk about. So remember, I mean, I love VeChain and all that, too. I mean, I have a lot, so. But look, there's the big money. So, yeah, remember we talked about. So, Switzerland, so first of all, let me just say, Switzerland is kicking ass in crypto. They are unleashing product after product. <laughs> product after product. Right? The Anim, what was it? Amon, Amon AG, right? Bitcoin, Ethereum, XRP, Litecoin, uh, uh, ETPs, and they said that they're going to expand that throughout Europe. Well, bye, here comes a crypto bank, and they're going to expand across Europe. And so why I'm happy about this Switzerland news is that when I, whenever we read these Swiss things, is that these Swiss guys, they start out in Switzerland, and then they're like, yeah, now we're going to head over to Europe. And so... Um, you know, open up the market, open up the market. You know what I mean? That's what we need. We need exposure to everybody, right? 
And I'll yap, yap, yap a bit later, but let's just read on for a second. Cibo Bank AG, the Switzerland-based digital assets focused bank, is now all set to extend its services to clients from selected foreign jurisdictions. According to an exclusive report, the bank is considering the UK, bye, Italy, Germany, France, Austria, Portugal, the Netherlands, Singapore, and Hong Kong jurisdictions as part of its expansion plans. Yes. The report added that the Zug-based financial institution, formerly known as Seba Crypto AG, currently accepts Bitcoin, Ethereum, Ethereum Classic, Litecoin, and Lumens, and NEO for its custody service. They have custody already. And for trading, it accepts Bitcoin, Ethereum, Ethereum Classic, Litecoin, and Stellar. Um, Seba Bank had previously raised 100 million Swiss francs in capital from investors and obtained a banking and securities dealer license from the Swiss Financial Market Supervisory Authority, FINMA. Bang! Yes, that's a big old name. The crypto bank started its operations after receiving a banking license from FINMA in November this year. In fact, Seba was one of the first two institutions to have received banking and securities dealers licenses from FINMA. The other was Zurich-based Signum AG. Yes. Signum was that other one at the bank, and then we read about Amon AG, which was that uh, exchange over there in Switzerland. Um, FINMA had recently published guidelines on updated KYC, Know Your Client, and AML, Anti-Money Laundering, rules, which stated that institutions supervised by it are only permitted to send cryptocurrencies or other tokens to extended wallets belonging to their own customers, while identities have already been ver- whose identities have already been verified and are only allowed to receive cryptocurrencies or tokens from such customers. The guidance did not permit these supervised institutions to receive tokens from customers or other institutions or to send tokens to such customers. So, while they are able to rock and roll to go around the, the world and do stuff, they're, well, at least in Switzerland, what they're saying, I don't know how it's going to work when they move over to Europe and these other places, but in Switzerland, how it is is only their own customers are allowed to send and receive crypto to each other. You know, like if it's a bank out here trying to send crypto, nah, you're not allowed. So it's kind of a closed system. Um, yeah, but it's something. Um, Switzerland government, Switzerland's government had previously indicated that it will continue to work towards a crypto-friendly regulatory environment. Additionally, the Swiss Secu- Secretary for D- International Finance, George Gasser, had earlier emphasized the need to promote cryptocurrencies without compromising existing financial standards. Both the Ethereum Foundation and now the Libra Association are headquartered there. Bang! Ethereum and Libra, that's that uh, Zuckerberg thing, are headquartered in Switzerland. So... But what I bring that, that you know um, is that we're seeing a lot of stuff branching out from Switzerland, right? I mean, the Germans, yeah, they're doing a few little things, right? I remember pff, France said they wanted to be the big crypto thing, but they haven't done anything. Um, and so, you know, the Swiss are doing a lot, and now they're branching out. They're branching out into Europe. Remember, I, I just said aim and AG is going to bring all those ETPs to to Europe. Um, This bank is going to bring some stuff to uh, a few European countries here. And so, growth, growth. You know, here we go with some growth in their real bank. You know, it's not just some little crypto exchange run by some kid. It's a bank, you know. So, it's all good. It's going to bring security. It's going to bring legitimacy. It's going to bring the money. Yes. But all right, let's move on. Bong, let's get to this. Shout outs. Chief B from the Pascuayaki tribe. Bang, love your brother, see your brother. Bang. Look, look, Burke's big airdrops. Love your brother, see your brother. Bang. Trader. What's Trader talking about? Chronicle. A record written in a factual and detailed way. Investment and trade wisdom. Analysis from the best in traditional finance and crypto. Bang! All right. Poppy, what's Poppy talking about? What the? Hold on. 
Poppy Wood. Love you, brother. See you, brother. Bye. What is this? China spies on social media conversations. Then they bring dissidents in for real life chat. <laughs> you dag on, right? They do. <laughs> I mean, I'd say we're at least five years away from that over here. So no worries. Wow. They're never going to do that here. But hell yeah, that's how China rolls. That's how China rolls. They're watching what you do on, on the internet, buddy. I mean, everyone's watching what you do on the internet, but just... I mean, don't don't have any doubt about it, but just some countries' laws are just, I mean, this is America, so you're allowed to say whatever the fuck you want, so they don't give a shit. Whereas in some countries, you know, you don't have, here in America, we have what's called the First Amendment. Yeah, that's the freedom of speech. That's the very First Amendment to our Constitution, the first. So no one's ever, don't worry about that, Poppy, no one's ever going to arrest you for saying shit here in America. I mean, look at the shit we say right now. The, half, the stuff that people say about Trump here, yeah, well, half the country would be arrested if this were China and you were saying that. <laughs> look, look, half the country would be in jail. Look, look. But anyways, that's how it goes. That's how it goes down in some places. If you're born in the wrong spot, you better know just to you know, just shut the fuck up, homeboy. And just live your life in peace. Look, bid him. It's been him talking about. Look, look, brother. Love you, brother. See you, brother. Bye. What's he talking about? CB News. The numbers of crypto advertising is increasing. They are aiming for the retail crypto market. Exactly. That's what I told you. And fuck sticks haven't seen fuck all yet. Wait till Fidelity gets here. I mean, Fidelity is already here offering custody. Oh. And I was going to do that story. That's right. I told you guys about that. Where is it? Hold on. Let me look. Well, hold on. One second. One second, guys. Right. Fidelity. Yeah. They're giving. They have an Ethereum-based token to reward their employees. All right. All right. We're going to read about that tomorrow. We're going to read about that tomorrow for sure. I did remember, but, you know, there's just some other stuff. And it's not about our money. It's just about Fidelity, but... I'm going to show you guys tomorrow how dedicated Fidelity is to getting here. $2.5 trillion in the management. <laughs> it's a behemoth. All right. Master Barber Mag. Magazine. Love about the see you, brother. Bang. What you talking about? Bang, bang, bang. All right. That's three good ones there. All right. Sky High V-Chain price. <laughs> Source 25% on Microsoft Gamebook News. Yes. And that's what I just read, so... Bang, yes, indeed, Master Barber. We chain rocked and rolled on that. Trunk has his son of fish. Bang. Oh, she knows who he is. He's that other guy, 007, that I say, look, look, bang, look, look. Sweetie. Yes. Love you, sweetie. See you, sweetie. Bang. Megatrends 2000. I still need to finish One World Order, ready or not. Just one world ready or not. It's not one world order. It's not some crazy book. Crazy. How does the company move them, then take the jobs and the money with it? Oh, she is reading one world ready or not. That's how it goes, sweetie. Literally, one company. That's how it goes. Yeah, that's why we have here in America, yeah, all these little small towns that used to have a factory beside it, and all the all the, all the men in the city, all the men in the town used to work at the factory. Yeah, those days are gone. That's why those, those all these small towns here in America are dead. Dead zones. Ugh. What's Sweetie saying here? Your head is not just for holding your hair. Oh, yes. She always catches the smart stuff. Enron guy, don't make the party look bad. <laughs> Jeffrey Skilling. Yes, guys. Google Jeffrey Skilling. He was the ex-CEO of Enron. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He just got out of jail a few months ago. And the first thing he said when he got out of jail was that he's going to start an, an energy trading company in cryptocurrency. Oh, yeah. I mean, if people think that Bitcoin and stuff is bad <laughs> because of Silk Road and the dark web and all that, oh, lay. Wait till Jeffrey Skilling gets here. Google Jeffrey Skilling, Enron CEO. And actually, if you're smart, you'll do this. Google Enron. The smartest guys in the room. Okay, Google that and watch that documentary. 
That motherfucker is the guy that's about to come into this crypto market. Oh, yeah. He's a big ass, bad ass motherfucker. <laughs> he ain't no little crypto kid like Justin's son. No, this guy's a murderer. We'll see what he does here. We'll see. And like she says, Enron guy, right? This is what she says right here. Enron guy, don't make the party look bad. You dag on right, sweetie. You dag on right. But he's a smart guy, so he won't look bad for a few years. <laughs> like Enron, it looked good for a bunch of years until the truth came out. And third-party custody. Bang, you dag on right, sweetie. Look, look. She's always hearing the good stuff. All right, what else do we got? Look, look, Poppy. Oh, he said, happy happy VET pump day. Thank you, Poppy. Bye. <laughs> we got Leaf. Leaf, bang. See you, brother. What do we got? The Way of the Tiger. All right, what are we talking about here? The Way of the Tiger, Arena of Death. We'll revive the best-selling ninja-fueled samurai-packed game book series into a blockchain-based card collectible game. Bang! Oh, is that the thing I just read? Oh, I think that might be the blockchain, the, the V-chain thing I just read. Hold on. Hold on. Let me just go look. Shit. Now I'm curious. Was it the way of the tiger? Let me look. Let's just have a quick peek, guys. Hold on. Just a quick peek. Why is my computer working? Oh, are you fucking with me? All right, here we go. Oh, it is the way of the tiger. Oh, oh, so these are the guys who are making the, whoops, that's my profile. Go there and look at my profile, people. It's good to know that you're actually listening to someone who's qualified to talk to you about markets. <laughs> yeah, it's just some moron that just does the same job you do. Look. All right, though, wave the tiger. Bye. Looking forward to it on VeChain. Good choice. Good choice on blockchain, people. And then Vera RT. Vera RT's the digital art world and market creating unique tokens, empowering digital artists and collections. Collectors. All verified on the leading enterprise blockchain. Bye. Yes. I'm assuming VeChain. Sweet. Bidium. What are you talking about, Bidium? TV News. HSBC is going to move $20 billion. Oh, yeah, the $20 billion worth of assets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On the block, on a blockchain, so that's cool. Crypto Carlito. What you talking about, brother? CB News. The Way of the Tiger. Okay, so that's the Microsoft VeChain thing, the video game. Love you, brother. See you, brother. Bye. Look, look, Samurai Boss. Love you, brother. See you, brother. Bye. Look, look, look. See you. Bye. Spy lady, Bren C. See you, lady. Bye. Yes. Shouldn't be seeing you. Should be incognito, spy lady. <laughs> Love spy lady. Look, look, Joe Bond. Bang. See you, brother. Oh, wait. What does his shit say? Big data believer. Big data believer. Songwriter of algorithms. Man of winter. Data entrepreneur. Downhill skier. Not into semantic layers. Data Lakers had dupe machine learning. Bang. All right. Good. Good for you, brother. All right. That's enough. All right. One more. Ricardo. Bye. Tuto. Sirhan Kos. Bye. And this last one here. We flying. Success is inner peace. Find your inner peace and you will have found success. All right, buddy. Bang, all right. Look, look, bang, look, look, bang, look, look, bang. Yes. All right, so we had a great show for you today. All right, so Iota, you know, so like I said, guys, I know if you're new here, you know, like, man, this guy keeps talking about Iota and V-Chain. Like I said, man, if it onboards someone, that's what we're going to talk about. So like I said, if V-Chain onboards people for the next 30 days, well, for the next 30 days, you're going to hear V-Chain story. So. Let's talk about IOTA. <clears throat> it's going to be used in the vending machines that you need to have your age verified in, right? So tobacco and alcohol. Great, right? Uh, another onboarding. That's a small one uh, compared to the stuff we usually read about IOTA. But, you know, money's money and onboarding is an onboarding. And 
That's it. The tangle's the tangle. You're using it. So, bang! Iota hodlers, happy for you. Yes, and I have much Iota. And then, Microsoft to launch game on VeChain. Yeah, man. Well, actually, I don't... Are they... I don't know if it's Microsoft game or that other computer, the company's game, but whatever, man. Microsoft's part of the whole thing. And they're going to put it on the tangle. It's a, it's a choose-your-own-adventure game. Like I told you, you know, you get to, you know, the game asks you. It's like a, you know, remember Dungeons and, I don't know if you guys know about this, but there used to be this game called Dungeons and Dragons, right? And it was like a, you know, you would, you know, it'd be like you're walking through a field. You come upon a village, you know, and then a dragon shows up. What do you do? You know, and then it would ask you what you do. And then you would go from there in the story. Like, so if I was a wizard, maybe I would say, I I throw my, I don't know, freezing freezing spell at it to freeze it or something, right? You know what? Anyway, man, I don't know. I'm not going to get into the whole dungeon. But you choose your adventure. In other words, it's a story, but... You, you you get to choose which part of it. So like I said, maybe in the story, you, you get over the castle walls and you're in the castle. You know, you've defeated the guards. And now it asks you, do you go and steal, do you go steal the gold or do you go save the princess? Right? So it's up to you. And then uh, the story would go, and then it would tell you if, you, if you decide to save the princess, go to page, you know, 47. If you decide to steal the gold, Go to page 33. And then when you go to page 33, I'd be stealing the gold tag on it. I can buy a princess later with all the gold. <laughs> so when you say <laughs> when you when you say go get the gold, it would say go to page 33. So you go to page 33 and then it would be like, okay, now you you know you're going down the hallway. Now you, you know what I mean? Like it, it would take you on that part of the story. Holy, I'm getting so into deep into this this thing. But anyways. And so it's going to be on the VeChain blockchain, and um, yeah, man, choose your own adventure stories are fun because you get to choose the adventure, right? It's not just you're reading a story. You get to decide where the character in the story goes, right? Like I said, you steal the gold, you just save the princess. Mm. Look, look, brothers, always save the print, always steal the gold. Mm. Buy yourself a little princess later. Look, and then finally... Swiss Crypto Bank really reveals expansion plans. Exactly, exactly. It seems like the Swiss, the Swiss are the ones over there in Europe. You know, Germany's talking a lot of talk. Mm. But they're not doing it so much. If you guys were here last year, fuck, it was like Q2 last year. Uh, the Borsch, Borsch Stuttgart, the Stuttgart Stock Exchange, the second largest in Germany, was like, ah, yeah. We're going to have end-to-end -end solutions for crypto. Well, I haven't seen them happen yet. Yeah, remember that, brothers? Remember that? Remember the remember the, the, the Germans? When I used to yell, the Germans, right? End-to-end -end solutions, he said, the Stuttgart guy. I haven't seen them. They haven't materialized. Well, what is materializing are the Swiss. Oh, yeah. Yes, indeed. The Swiss are coming. They're coming hard. They're coming with exchange-traded products. And they're coming with whole full crypto banks about to expand. So, buy. Good for us. Good for crypto. Good for the multiverse. All right, let's chill and kill. Let's get you back to your wives and life. So, subscribe below. Press the bell. You get automatic notification when I do the show. The greatest show on earth. The greatest show in the multiverse. Look, look. My name's Shamari Clark. I love talking money. love talking crypto. This is the favorite time of my day. So, thank you for having me in your home. Oh, oh, shit, shit, shit. All right, all right. What I'm wearing. So, this guy, he asked me. He's like, what was that shirt you're wearing? And so it was a Calvin Klein shirt. So if you guys want a breakdown, so let's go here. Bang, I'll give you an up close. So I'm wearing, obviously, an Armani Exchange shirt. My glasses are Prada. These are Prada glasses. Okay. And this watch that I always wear on the show, this is an Armani watch. Here it is. It's a little blurry. Giorgio Armani watch. And then this thing. This is from some tribe in South America. Um, a tribal lady, she gave it to me. 
I know it sucks. I don't I don't remember what tribe it is though. So, mm. um, what else? Hanes underwear and a pair of cargo pants. All right, so there you go. You're all updated on what I'm wearing. Bye. All right. Oh, oh yeah. And this this is a silver silver bracelet with uh, little diamonds in it. It's got little diamonds in this this black part here. <laughs> little diamond shards. Little shreds. Yes. Little, little, little ones. All right. So there it is, guys. So subscribe below. Press the bell. You get automatic notification when you do the show. The greatest show on earth. The greatest show in the multiverse. Love talking money. Love talking crypto. This is the favorite time of my day. So look, look. Until tomorrow, guys. I'll see you. My name's Shamari Clark. Love talking money. Love talking crypto. See you tomorrow, guys. I'm always on duty. Bye. Over and out.